Why does Muna stay with a man who humiliates and beats her? The protagonist of Theresia Mora's novel grew up in provincial East Germany. She's 18 when the wall comes down, attractive, confident, and talented. She studies literature in Berlin, London, and Basel, and meets Magnus, her first great love, again in her 20s. The two start a relationship, and Muna stays. Writing her wasn't easy, says the author. I knew I could only write this character in the first person, so that I as a narrator would not judge her. But even then, it was difficult to forgive her for everything that I had ascribed to her. Muna is fascinating and disturbing. At a university in Vienna, the character researches female authors whose families immigrated and begins a doctorate on the construction of femininity. But she gives everything up for Magnus, including her friendships and career. When he hits her, she understands and even identifies with her abuser. I admit that I screamed like on a spit. If someone had done that to me, I probably would have also pushed them out and slammed the door in their face. Theresia Mora subtly explores the depths of an abusive relationship and of her protagonist. As readers, we're confronted with our own and the author's prejudices. That's when I realized that I, too, have judged the victims. I've thought it's their own fault or I would never be like that. But the truth is that I would be. In their place, I'd be like them. Difficult truths. In Muna, or Half a Life, Theresia Mora helps us see how little we know ourselves.